don't feel good. <laughs> I don't feel good. This has nothing to do with Zelda or the video. I woke up this morning and I don't feel great, but I've showered. I've put on makeup <laughs> to make me look more alive. And I, I really want to react to this Zelda trailer that dropped this morning. I was hoping to go live with it, but I felt so incredibly crappy when I woke up. I still do. I'm sorry that this is going to be a very muted reaction to the trailer. I'm going to try and keep this really short and sweet. I'm really excited. I'm not going to lie. I watched it already. I watched it in bed. I, I, I just wanted to see it to see if it was worth getting up. And it is. It's really cool. I like that they didn't tell us. They, we don't know anything about this freaking game, man. I don't think in recent years we've ever gone into a game with this little knowledge about the game itself. And I love that. It's so shrouded in mystery. All right, let's take a look at the trailer and let's see what we can pick out of it here. I got, I'm, getting, I'm getting in and out of this one. I think I almost passed out there for a second. Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful game. It's a be This is the worst reaction ever. I just feel like if I didn't do one, people would be like, where's Wood? Is he okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. So we're finally seeing towns in the new trailer. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure this is the same hat, hat, Hatino. I want to, I think that's what this town was called. But obviously, some upgrades and some changes, and weird like mushroom aesthetic going on around. And then we've got settlements building back up in some of the ruined areas. So I was wondering how they would tackle this so soon after the first game and you have all these ruined areas like are you going to build them back out we're going to have more towns looks like maybe there's settlements starting to build back in these towns so we have some more people scattered around they're doing a good job at showing us nothing and showing us things in the background of the nothing and uh yeah i mean this is just so convoluted here. We've got little structures and bits and pieces all over the place. I'm not really even sure where to focus. I'm not sure what this thing is down here with the green spiraling around it. The castle is being lifted up into the sky. One thing we haven't had a clear, I don't think we've had a clear answer on yet, is is this game like Breath of the Wild, where you, from right from the start, you can go and just tackle the boss. You can just go and take him. Can you do anything in any order? Is it open and free like Breath of the Wild? They haven't said that yet. I mean, I assume it's gotta be right. But speaking of the boss, it looks like we're about to see it. So this was kind of obvious, but something definitely happens with Zelda. At the end of this trailer to skip forward, you hear a soundbite of her saying, Link, you have to find me, come find me. Also explains why Zelda's not in the game after it looked like her and Link were going to set off on adventures at the end of the last one. I'm, I'm lo I love that clip there. I can't tell if it's a cutscene, if it's in game, but there's some like battle raging on between enemies and, and humans and Link's just freaking Spinaroonie running through, not actually helping, but definitely looking cool. I mean, there's so many quick cuts here. I don't know what you want me to pause on first. Who is this? And what are they about? Back in a pristine Hyrule? Zelda. Now, now we're getting some new. Now we're getting some real new, some story. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. 
I'm loving Zelda's new haircut. Almost seems very Miss Click inspired. I don't know what this change of vibe means. Link. There's so much to pull from each of these clips. They're telling us so much and so little without reference. This adorable bird thing flying with us. Okay, this rocket. So they, they actually show a lot more of the crafting possibilities. There's this rocket that you've glued to a shield and now he's... I'm telling you, there's there's going to be so many ways to go into the sky, and this looks like another one here. Just gluing a rocket to yourself. I love the animation on Link here when he's jumping. I mean, what is even happening here? We've got this friggin' rock golem. I've forgotten the name. Ha ha tas tas doesn't matter. Talos doesn't matter with uh, a bunch of goblins on him. What are their names? I'm too tired to remember. And Link's just gone and built himself a friggin' stone wall with wheels and a, and a... I don't even know what the freaking hell. This, what is this, Battle Bots? You guys remember Battle Bots? Link has literally just built himself a Battle Bot and we're, we're, we're putting it in the arena to see to see how it shakes out, you know? It, it actually looks like he's built a handshaking machine. Like he's just trying to make friends. Oh my God. Is that something else that Link has made? What is that thing? He's like glued a bunch of stuff together. I wonder what the limit is on gluing things together. It doesn't look like there is one. But that's definitely like Guardian laser adjacent, which is what I was saying I wanted to do. I think the cra the building and the crafting and the gluing is going to be a whole meta in this game that is going to get explored in such cool ways. Oh, sick. I missed that the first time I watched. This, like, giant eating thing. Spider guy. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. So that's just Ganondorf, right? I've been saying the whole time that this is Ganon. This is Ganondorf that we're hearing and that's coming. And other people are like, no, it's some new... Th Maybe there's a new thing and there's a Ganondorf. I, I, I think that weird old creature is like the husk of Ganondorf and like it needs to be juiced up. <laughs> so cool. Okay, let's go! But you are not alone. Link. You are our final hope. such a great job with the promotion and, and the build-up to this. Link! You must find me. Yeah, it's interesting, because judging by that clip, she seems okay. It just seems like she's somewhere else. Like, she's in a new area, and she has a new look. Like, she's gone through something. Something is happening to her, but she's not, like in a cave somewhere. She's got, she's just she's in, in somewhere else and Link needs to find her. And while she's there, she's doing other boss lady things. Like I, I, I like this idea. I like, I like a lot of what I'm seeing. You know, I could look, I mean, a lot of people like to look over these trailers with a fine tooth comb. They're like, oh, did you see it? At two minutes, 33 in the background, there's a, there's a condescent spike. So that probably means you'll be, You'll have the power to- I don't care, I don't care. I want to be surprised as much as possible. I don't want to go over and over and over it to death and then and then ruin anything for myself. The, the promotion is clearly trying to keep secrets, 
clearly trying to have this be a fun experience for the first time you play it and not see a lot of it coming. And I, I want to be there for that. I, I find it wild how reserved they've been. I, I do. I think it's really cool that, they, that they've that they really barely told us or shown us anything. And there's not much we know about the inner workings of the game. There's still so many questions that a lot of us have. And they're saying this is the last trailer for the game. This is the last we'll see. And then we got to wait a month to play it. I love that. This is how you market a game. This is how you don't ruin it before release. Super excited to play it. You guys have no idea. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be streaming it on Twitch. And uh, what what a what a what a fantastic time. What a fantastic trailer. I'm gonna go back to bed though. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to bed. There's so there's so much I would like to break down though, man. There's so much. Look at Link. Why is he pulling these? What what why why is Link pulling this? And he's made this trailer. Is he saving these people? Can you save people in the game? That Like, in the last one, you could find people around and they would, like, be attacked by creatures. But, like, you couldn't really help them once you saved... Once you killed the creature, you just left them there. Can you bring them, like, back to town now? It's getting all Red Dead Redemption-y. There's so many, so many exciting things I can't wait to, to discover in the game. And I know there's so much that I missed here. And to be honest... I'm just really excited that we finally get a mini map. 